But I'm sure if there's bigger days, there's bigger events going on too, you've got other people helping you and giving the gospel to people, and they're like, all right, we got another one to baptize, and you're getting a lot of people baptized all at once. You're going to have some people filter through there that might not have heard the best plan of salvation, that might not have understood it fully, and they just don't get saved. Look, it happens. Okay? And here we see a couple of guys that are just like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, the Holy Ghost, but I mean, yeah, we got baptized. I mean, I got baptized as a baby. It doesn't mean anything. I didn't understand the gospel as an infant. So here explains this, verse 4, Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. So Paul knows all about the repentance, because that's what John preached, repentance, right? Amen. I'm not saying he didn't. John the Baptist preached repentance. Amen. I believe that. John the Baptist did not preach you have to turn from your sins to be saved. <gasps> John the Baptist preached repentance. Amen. I preach repentance. Amen. I don't preach you have to, be, to turn from all of your sins to be saved. Because that's a works-based salvation. John barely baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. What was the baptism of repentance? Believe on Jesus Christ. What do we have to do to be saved? Oh, wait, that verse, that sounds familiar. It sounds like a verse I've read in the Bible before. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And what did they say? Oh, yeah, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And what was John saying about the baptism of repentance? Oh, yeah, that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. Isn't it amazing how the Bible just fits together so well? Isn't it amazing how it's not confusing at all what John was teaching and preaching when he's telling men to repent and he's baptizing them after they've repented? Because he's teaching them to believe on Jesus. There's nothing confusing about that. There's no contradiction. The confusing part comes in is when liars and deceivers come in and want to tell you that a word means something that it doesn't mean. That's the confusing part. The word itself, repent, means think again in its most literal, basic form. When you put it in context, it can, it can you know, be applied to have a meaning very similar to that. But the context is going to determine exactly what it means. It could be a turning. It can be the, you know, the rethinking, the literal, the most literal sense. It can be, you know, uh, turning from various things. But you have to get it in the context, understand exactly what, how it's being applied. What is it referring to? And then it says in verse 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. They got baptized again. Why? Because they got saved. Because they weren't saved before when they got baptized. And now they got saved, so then they got baptized. 